to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris and I absolutely love YubiKeys for two-factor authentication. The ones that I love the most are the YubiKey 5 series. So here we have the 5 NFC and then this is the uh, 5CI which is USB-C on one end and Lightning on the other end. Now one of the key use cases for these devices is for your TOTP codes, basically your six digit time-based one-time password two-factor authentication codes. Now these devices do all kinds of different two-factor authentication, including FIDO2, but most websites haven't caught up with FIDO2 yet, so having TOTP capability is really, really useful. And if you guys wanna see a full rundown as to how these keys work, I'll put a link down below to my original YubiKey video that explains them from top to bottom. In this video, however, we're just going to talk about one feature of these YubiKeys that I get asked about more often than anything else, and that is, can you have a backup of your YubiKey? And the answer absolutely is yes. So I'm gonna show you how to take your TOTP code and put it on different YubiKeys. In this case, I'm gonna do it across three different YubiKeys. Okay, before we get into that, if you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure you like and subscribe to Crosstalk Solutions and follow us on Twitter at CrosstalkSOL for all of the latest updates. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. I realized today that I only have my Ubiquiti TOTP two-factor authentication on a single YubiKey. That's this sort of main one that I have hanging on my keychain here. Also, another side note, people were concerned about the durability of this product I've had this hanging on my keys, in my pocket, out of my pocket, in my computer, on my nightstand for well over a year now, and there has been no problem as far as the sturdiness of the device and whether or not it can take a beating. It seems to be perfectly fine. But if you're concerned about that, Yubico just released a new product that is a sort of protective key and YubiKey wallet or sleeve, I'm not sure exactly what you call it, where you can sort of slide it in and it's more protected uh, and it can just hang on your keychain and keeps all of your keys in this sort of like little flip out compartment. It's pretty cool. All links to all products are gonna be down in the description below if you guys are interested in any of this stuff. Okay, so I have gone to account.ui.com. I have clicked on security. And so the first thing that I need to do is disable my two-factor authentication because I wanna completely turn it off and you have to turn it back on and put the two-factor on all three keys, in my case, three keys, as many backups as you want. But they all have to be done at the same time. You can't have two-factor authentication enabled uh, you know, with TOTP on one key and then add additional keys as backups later. It doesn't work that way. You have to do them all at once. Okay, so first step is to disable two-factor authentication and it's gonna ask me for my 2FA token to do so. So I'm plugging in my main 2FA token. This is the one, the only one that has my Ubiquiti TOTP codes on it. I have brought up Yubico Authenticator. We can see Ubiquiti Networks right here. I'm gonna double click that, touch the YubiKey. I get my code, it's automatically copied to the clipboard and I can just paste it in right there and click submit. So now we can see that two-factor authentication has been disabled. Now we are going to re-enable it on all three of my keys. So we're gonna say enable two-factor authentication and that pops up a QR code as well as a secret code if you wanna do it manually, but the QR code does work just fine. So let's do this. We're gonna bring up our Yubico authenticator. We're gonna hit these three dots in the upper right-hand corner we're gonna say scan QR code. And immediately we can see the issuer is Ubiquity Networks and then my account name. So basically what it did is it looked on the screen of my computer, it saw the QR code and we're just automatically gonna add it. So let's go ahead and say add account. And since I already had it on this key, it asked me if I wanted to overwrite the previous one, which I did say yes. And now I'm gonna pull this key out of the USB and we're gonna plug in YubiKey number two. Now this one does not have Ubiquity TOTP on it at all, so we're gonna do the same process. Scan QR code. There we have our issuer as well as the account name. We're gonna say add account. Now it's on two keys. We're gonna pull out the YubiKey 
And we're gonna insert the third UV key. I don't have USB-C on the back of my keyboard, so I have a USB-C to USB type A adapter. We're gonna plug this in. Scan QR code. And then we're gonna click add account. And once you have scanned the QR code into every device where you want to have this TOTP capability, you can come over here and then just paste the 2FA. So double clicking Ubiquity, hit the key. I got my code, copy to the clipboard, paste it over here and submit. Now, very, very important, whenever you do that and finish off your TOTP setup, make sure you generate new backup codes. Most TOTP services will have the ability to have some sort of backup code. This is just a final fail safe in case I lost all of my YubiKeys and Google Authenticator. I have these backup codes that I can use to get into my account and still not have to you know, contact the company and beg and plead for them to give me access again. So I'm gonna enter my TOTP code one more time and click generate new backup codes. And I now have the backup codes displayed on the screen. You can copy these and then you want to save them in a safe spot. And it is as easy as that. I now have my TOTP codes for Ubiquity on three different YubiKeys, but let's do one more added bonus, right? If you guys are liking the Google Authenticator, let's also make Google Authenticator a backup. So here I have a Google Authenticator up on my phone and you can see that I don't use it for a lot, but maybe I do want to start using it as a fourth backup TOTP device. Let's go ahead and add an account. We're going to click the plus sign down in the bottom right. And we're going to say scan QR code. Boom. All right, I got the QR code and I now have Ubiquity Networks also on Google Authenticator. Now, the reason I don't like Google Authenticator versus the YubiKeys is because when you switch phones, like I recently switched phones from a iPhone 8 to the, the newest iPhone, and when I did that, Google Authenticator, the app came across, but none of my codes did. So typically what I would have to do is now go disable two-factor authentication on uh, at every site that I have and then re-enable it and rescan the QR code. So you don't have to do that with the YubiKeys because it's just a hardware device. I do understand that there are some TOTP apps out there like Authy that do allow you to have multi-device uh, you know, backups or just have your TOTP codes across multi-devices. So I understand that. Uh, and of course, to each his own. Whatever works best for you, the most important thing is 2FA every day. Make sure that you are always doing 2FA wherever it's possible. The way that I've been doing it recently is for the 2FA codes that I use most often, I put those on my YubiKeys. And then for anything where I'm like, gosh, I'm not really ever, I barely ever log into this site. I do want two-factor authentication. Those ones I'm putting on Google Authenticator. So it's sort of my secondary, less commonly used two-factor authentication is for, uh, is for Google Authenticator on my phone, and then my day-to-day -day TOTP codes are on across all of my various YubiKey devices. All right, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Links to all products are down below. Those are affiliate links. It does not change your price at all, but it does get us a couple of bucks for the referral. We appreciate every referral that we get. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. My name's Chris with Crosstalk Solutions, and thank you so much for watching.